space is a dangerous place. Extreme temperatures can instantly go from boiling to far below freezing. Low pressure can cause your bodily fluids to vaporize in seconds. And cosmic rays shooting across the universe can cause radiation sickness and death. But humans have always wondered, what would it be like to live out there? It's a dream that became a reality in November 2000, when an international crew of three astronauts, led by American commander Bill Shepard, lifted off in a Russian Soyuz rocket and journeyed to the newly constructed International Space Station. Leaving our home planet and establishing for the first time a permanent human presence in space. Orbiting 240 miles above the surface, the International Space Station travels all the way around Earth every 90 minutes, moving at more than 17,000 miles per hour. It's the second brightest object in the night sky after the moon. It's slightly bigger than an American football field, so it's even visible from Earth with the naked eye. The first time I looked out the window of the orbiter and saw the space station, it was huge. And looking at it and knowing that a man-made structure that big is actually up there. It was huge and shiny and beautiful. The ISS was built from modular components that were designed and built by an international team right here on Earth and liftoff of Discovery. It was carried into space by the American Space Shuttle and by Russian Soyuz rockets. And we copy 3001. And assembled by the astronauts out in space. Inside the space station, a rotating crew from 15 countries has lived and worked continuously since then. <laughs> Astronaut Sonny Williams was the commander of ISS Expedition 33. We're lucky we have a really cool big space station that you can fly around in. So it's a place she knows inside and out. You might notice there's all sorts of foods here. Some of it is dehydrated, some of it is all ready made, and then all we have to do is heat it up. So something like this, I'm pulling out barbecued beef brisket. Pretty yummy. Facing the Earth is the cupola observation window which gives the astronauts a unique view of space and our home planet. It's like a glass bottom boat. It's one of those places you find yourself hanging out in all the time because all you want to do is look back at our planet. I will always remember the first time I saw the Earth. Just the instant impression of how fragile our world is. The ISS may have the most spectacular view around, but the main project on board is actually scientific research. Astronauts use the extreme environment of microgravity to conduct cutting-edge experiments, a new vaccine, better ways to predict natural disasters, and even to find answers about the origins of the universe. They're trying to understand the effects of space travel on the human body and how plants grow under these extreme conditions. Scientists are also studying the strange behavior of fluids in microgravity. There we go. And they're learning how to control them in new ways. Even students are getting into the act. In 2012, NASA ran a student science competition, and the winners got to send their experiment up to the space station. It was a very exciting moment to see, like, the rocket with our project in it, and, like, just finally, finally launching. It was great. <laughs> it's the beginning of a whole new era in research out in space that may answer some of life's greatest questions. What would you investigate?